The story begins in 2012, when after 160 years of continuous use, Fitchburg City Hall was deemed unsafe after the failure of several roof trusses. Initially, renovation was not the clear option or preferred track for many people. Citizens and civic groups, concerned about the possibility of demolition, nominated the City Hall to Preservation Massachusetts' Most Endangered Historic Resources Program, and it was listed in late 2012. The stately Greek Revival building has had a presence on Main Street since it was constructed in 1852 by Colonel Ivers Phillips, who used local craftsmen to build the civic structure. It was dedicated in January 1853 and served the city not only as a seat of government, but it also housed a post office, public library, local businesses, and the High Street Grammar School. Additions and alterations were made over the years, and the large gathering hall on the second floor was turned into offices. The floor levels of the 1879 edition at the rear did not align with the floors of the 1853 structure. The building had poor accessibility, faulty storage, poor building layout, and functionality. On the interior, the historic value had been renovated out. The exterior had also been greatly altered over the years. Many of the large double-hung windows were replaced with modern casement-style fixed windows. A concrete porch with a side stair replaced the wide stairs leading directly to the front of the building, and a large, ramped, accessible portico was attached to a side entry. As time took its toll, along with deferred maintenance, structural and safety concerns came to a head. At the end of 2012, City Hall sat empty and abandoned at the end of Main Street. This is a City Hall for all. It was a looming hulk on Main Street that I just, I, I, I said to myself, I'm not, I'm not going to leave this job at some point and not have that building restored. Not only is it the proper thing to do, proper approach, that is a true seat of government for the people of the city of Fitchburg. In 2016, during Mayor Stephen Di Natale's first term as mayor, a feasibility study found the building could be restored. Mayor Di Natale called Jim Igo, president of Preservation Massachusetts, and shared his goal of a restored city hall for Fitchburg. It seemed as if the phoenix would rise from the ashes. They had uh, significant input throughout the project. So, uh, uh, and the way it turned out, the building looks absolutely fabulous. You know, we're looking at from one end of Main Street to the other over $110 million in investment that we're putting into Main Street. And how do I how do I approach prospective developers and people who are interested in the city of Fitchburg and our Main Street if we're not willing to move and be on Main Street in that building? I was not gonna go down in history as the mayor who demolished the city hall building, because there were some that thought that's the best thing for that. I didn't agree. So we uh, we moved forward. I one of the calls to you, Jim, also doing some background and, and uh, trying to figure out what what how extensive what does it mean to get into this project? Because it is it's a significant uh, project in scope, but the money is always the issue. How do you pay for it? And that was the biggest challenge. But I, I knew after talking to some folks, one, none the least of which my auditor, Calvin Brook. As public discussion of the renovation continued, the importance of the building and location to the city's history drew people in and made it an important shared city vision. In 2017, Bank of America donated a former branch adjacent to City Hall leading to the concept of a campus-style city government. And in 2018, City Council would allocate funds to begin the Fitchburg City Hall campus project. The mayor and City Council felt strongly that the governance of the city should be under one roof, in a building designed for that one purpose, and sited in a prominent location on Main Street, a city hall for all. 
The renovation inserted a new third floor in the old 1853 part of the building and installed new structure in the 1879 addition so that floors between the two sections now align. This design allowed for 14 city departments, including the mayor's office, to be located within one building. The city council chambers are now located in the legislative building, in the building that Bank of America donated to the city of Fitchburg. The project included new structural steel columns and beams to support new floors and a roof extension. The roof truss that had failed in 2012 was jacked up from the basement with a series of wood shores, saddles, and jacks. The exterior of the building has been improved and repaired to be structurally sound. The building's mechanical systems are energy efficient and its interior design is programmatically functional. The interiors are welcoming and light, truly conveying a sense of transparency. The exterior masonry has been fully repointed. Fitchburg City Hall is a blending of the old and the new, adapting the past to meet the future needs and shows that our historic buildings, especially our municipal and civic structures, can have an expanded life in the 21st century. Um, so, you know, we, we had a great project team. I think that, um, I think the magic that happened in this building had to do with the building itself, but also had to do with the people who were working together. And so this was the dream team. Um, you know, Tony Deluzio has years of experience and was able to, to guide AJ and I through some of the most difficult parts of putting this whole project together um, and, and kept us out of trouble. Um, but also, you know, just, just lent that, that, that guiding light to us um, to help us navigate. And then we brought on Icon, and I have to say that Icon's vision exceeded anything that we thought possible. For this building especially um, you know obviously they were very interested in preserving the look of the building and and keeping it to be this, this stately beautiful building um, but they were also interested in how it was going to serve the public and um, as when we sat down as a project team as the mayor already talked about we talked about how this would be a city hall for all and that, that was something that icon actually coined pretty quickly um, and and how people would interact with us and with the building when they walk through the front door. So Icon's design maintains beautiful historic aspects of the building, you know, captured windows that we were afraid we might, we might lose. Um, one of those. Like many renovations, there were challenges on this project, but perhaps none greater than that posed by COVID-19. But the team was able to pivot and continue safely working on City Hall despite a global pandemic, making the successful results all the more meaningful. The project was successfully completed and by December 14, 2020, employees began to move into Mayor Di Natale's renovated City Hall for All. There are so many times where we have to, where we see historic buildings and we try to be very practical and we know that we can't save everything and we understand that cities and municipalities are pulled in so many different directions and there are so many things that take priority. Um, so we kind of guard ourselves against having to, um, you know, we seal ourselves against those demolitions, but this was a really such a positive, um, such a positive story and an inspiring one too. Yeah. We were, uh, and we were very fortunate to have the, the mayor's leadership during this entire process because it was, as, as I'm sure everyone remembers at the very beginning, it was very difficult to get the project up off the ground and running. And, and Pam put it very well in her application that it, it was civic pride, grassroots uh, determination, vision, and perhaps some stubbornness that got the project completed. Yeah. And it draws parallels to uh, 1853 when the building was built. Uh, when it was uh, this, the city of Pittsburgh was still a town and they couldn't afford to build it publicly and so Colonel Ivor Phillips uh, disbanded the, the public committee and built it privately uh, and then donated the building back to the city and through the course of time that that building has has uh, the mentality of the people of, of Pittsburgh is to adapt and overcome essentially it's survived many many battles with, with tornadoes fires in the building Molotov cocktail bombs uh, and in COVID-19 as an example. 
uh, and group trust, uh, trust issues, and, it, and it's still standing to, to tell a story and, and for the city to, to, to occupy it again and, and have a seat of government on Main Street. So uh, a special thanks to the mayor and, of course, uh, Preservation Mass and everyone on the, on the team that, that made it possible. Yeah, AJ, and thank, and thank you too. And, um, you know, um, but really what set this project apart is the level of trust that the city had in pulling together these team members. Uh, we oftentimes get hired to manage very complex projects from owners that have an idea of how the project's going to go, uh, you know, the mission of the project. And they also then impart their mission of how each participant should do their job, which can complicate matters. Um, and certainly in this one, when the city put the level of trust in the architect, the project manager and bond to deliver a project of this magnitude, uh, everybody rose to that same level of trust because you didn't want to fail. It just wasn't, as they say, an Hi everyone. I just wanted to send a huge congratulations to the city of Pittsburgh for this award. It is an amazing project and took the vision of Mayor Di Natale and his team for this concept to become a reality. It's been a privilege working on this project and I want to thank you for trusting Bond, Icon and Colliers with the restoration of this important historical structure, which will serve all members of the community for many, many years to come. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations to Fitchburg City Hall project. This was a great project and a great team inspired by the leadership, trust and passion of the city of Fitchburg's own project team. We at Bond Building are proud to have been part of this fantastic success. Congratulations to the city of Fitchburg and the entire project team on this award. The Fitchburg City Hall project certainly brought a great deal of pride to the entire team bringing back to life such a prominent building in the city for which all of the public can experience and appreciate is truly special. Bond is proud to have been the city's trusted partner for this project and we thank all of the other team members for their commitment and cooperation that led to such a great success story. For years, Fitchburg's downtown has been mired by disinvestment. Vacancies have long plagued Main Street and absentee landlords have neglected to perform even routine maintenance on their properties. The downtown that was once a thriving hub for commerce in North Central Mass had lost that historic significance. In recent years, a strong public-private partnership has been built focused on revitalizing Fitchburg's downtown. The partners, ranging from the Fitchburg Art Museum to Fitchburg State University, our local chamber of commerce, businesses, developers, and nonprofit groups, have been focused on transforming Fitchburg's downtown into North Central's hub for arts and culture. This collaboration was focused on policy and systems change, but also tactically focused on what we could do as individual organizations to set the tone downtown. A number of partners stepped in. The Fitchburg Art Museum and the New View communities joined forces and committed to redeveloping a series of old school buildings into the Fitchburg Arts community, a 66 unit live work development. Fitchburg State University committed to investing over $40 million into the theater block, a 1200 seat theater, the adjacent storefronts, and a video game design lab for its students. And right across the street, Old City Hall sat there vacant. The city knew we had to do our part. Renovating Old City Hall was identified in a series of planning documents, from our Economic Development Strategic Plan to a study by Smart Growth America, as a vital piece of the puzzle to bring about change downtown. Old City Hall was built in a really strategic way. The architects knew exactly what they were doing. The sight lines work, so all the way down Main Street, you could see it, a symbol of the strength and vitality of Fitchburg's downtown. But for years, it did indeed send a signal, but not the one the architects envisioned. It sent the signal of a downtown in decline. It sent the signal that if the city was unwilling to invest in itself, why should you? When the city of Fitchburg made the decision to reinvest in City Hall, it wasn't done in isolation. It was part of a deliberate strategy by city officials and community partners. It was our opportunity to put a stake in the ground and reassert the importance of investing in our main street. Since the city made that decision. Hello, my name is Ellen DiGeronimo and I'm a lifelong resident of the city of Fitchburg. It's time for a celebration. The restoration and renovation of city hall has been completed. 
The restoration of the stunning Greek Revival facade has been restored to its historic splendor. It features the handsome H.M. Francis historic plaque recognizing City Hall as a contributing building in the downtown architecture of the H.M. Francis Historic District. It is important to note that Main Street turns gracefully in the direction of the Upper Common and at the point of the turn, City Hall appears to be framed in its historic splendor. City Hall is more than a building. It represents the tangible story of the years when scores of mayors, city councilors, and thousands of citizens participating as volunteer members on important boards and commissions served as stewards entrusted with making decisions for the government of Fitchburg. The records of the life and death of thousands of Fitchburg citizens are held in safekeeping in City Hall. On January 7, 1853, the, city, the citizens of Fitchburg gathered to celebrate their new town hall, to pay tribute to the remarkable achievement as marking a new era in the town history. Today, Mayor Stephen Di Natale and the members of the Fitchburg City Council, who have carried on the stewardship of this remarkable building, can rightfully proclaim the restoration of City Hall marks the beginning of a new era in Fitchburg's history. The renovation of Fitchburg's City Hall is a testament to people, place, and possibility. There were people who never lost hope that City Hall would one day reopen to serve the community. There is the building's important place, physically on Main Street, and figuratively as the heart of civics and community in Fitchburg. And then there is possibility. In 2012, City Hall's resurgence seemed more of an impossibility. But with the right team, dedication, passion, and perseverance, the impossible can truly become possible. Preservation Massachusetts is extremely proud to recognize Fitchburg City Hall with a 2021 Paul and Nikki Songus Award. <laughs>